The Michelson Interferometer. This is a device invented by Michelson 1852-1931 uh, as a method to measure the wavelength of light. And here is how it works. We have a light source. This light source produces a ray which is incident on mirror M0. So a single ray of light is split into two rays by mirror M0 uh, because it's, it's called the beam splitter. We have half the intensity traveling to mirror M1 on the right and half the intensity is transmitted. Uh, it's traveling through, uh, traveling to, towards M2, mirror M2. So, uh, we have mirror M1, uh, basically uh, the path difference between the two rays is varied with adjustable mirror M1. So mirror M1 location is uh, varied. So as you can see, if the distance from the uh, point of reflection on mirror M0 to mirror M1 is L1, the array travels uh, a distance L1 to reach mirror M1. It's ref retro reflected and travels back towards M0 a distance L1 so total distance traveled is 2L1 and similarly mirror M2 location is fixed a ray travels a distance L2 to mirror M2 uh, at normal incidence and it's retro reflected and we have total distance traveled by this uh, ray as 2L2 so as M1 is moved an interference pattern changes in the field of view. So we're looking at the interference of the reflected rays coming from M1 and M2 at the point uh, where we are watching uh, with the telescope. So this splits a beam into two parts and then recombines them to form an interference pattern on the mirror M0. Mirror M0 is our beam splitter which transmits half the light and reflects the other half. The transmitted ray travels a distance to L2, that's the one traveling towards M2 and back. And the reflected ray travels a distance to L1 uh, towards M1 and back. They recombine after reflections from M1 and M2 in M0 to produce interference. So in order to measure the wavelength, if we see a dark circle at this point by looking at it in, in the telescope, if we move M1 by lambda over 4, the path difference will change by twice that because we have 2L1 distance traveled. So it's going to be lambda over 2 change. The dark circle will turn into a bright circle when we look at it in the telescope. So what we do is we measure lambda by counting the number of fringe shifts over a given displacement of M1. So as we move M1, there will be shifts between dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, and we count the number of shifts to determine the wavelength. This is quite useful. It has applications in Fourier transform, infrared spectroscopy, laser interferometer, and also in the gravitational wave observatory to measure uh, gravitational waves. Okay, so to summarize, we talked about a device invented by Michelson, Michelson interferometer, which has a light source uh, and a beam splitter and two mirrors, one fixed location, one variable location. The reflected light intensity and the transmitted light intensity are the same. Uh, so this is basically dividing the intensity into two. And we're looking at the interference pattern of the reflected lights coming from M1 and M2 by uh, watching it with this telescope at M0. And we vary the path difference between these two rays by changing the location of M1 so that a displacement of lambda over 4 in M1 corresponds to a fringe shift from dark to bright or bright to uh, dark. So by counting the number of fringe shifts for a given displacement, we measure lambda. And finally, this has lots of applications in laser interferometer, gravitational wave observatory, and FTIR, etc.